All right, before you work with electricity, first thing I can tell you is turn off the power. Turn off the breaker. Kill the power going to whatever circuit, or whatever electricity, plug, receptacle, lighting, fixtures, whatever it is you're working on, kill the power. Uh, even though you kill the power, take your test meter, go back in and check the circuit, make sure that it is dead before you start attempting to work on it. Safety first, if you're not an electrician, if you're not feeling comfortable working with electricity, this is only a, a, a show you how I do things, not how you should or should not do them. It's just my suggestions that have worked for me in my 66 years of living on this earth. So, safety. Practice safety, safety, safety. When you're working with electricity, your life is, is worth way more valuable than anything else. Now, let's get started. Hello, my name is Larry and welcome to my YouTube channel called The 956 Studio. Today's video, we're going to show you how to wire up two electrical receptacles, 110 volts, in a box, install your cover plate, <clears throat> how to connect the actual wire, what size wire to use, and how to secure the wires in the box itself. Okay, for starters, let's go over what we're going to be using. We've got a metal box here, and we've already got, you got the knockouts, top and bottom and the side, and we've already knocked out two where the wire is going to come in and the wire is going to go out on the electrical box, uh, metal box itself. Now this box can be mounted with the screws you see here up against a flush mount on the wall, or you can use the side screws here and drill it into whatever you're trying to affix it to. you got two screw holes here and you have two screw holes on the side here. So that's the box. Now you're going to need two of these and I only have one for the purpose of the video and I'll show you later what we're going to use these for. You're going to need two receptacles. 110 volts, 115, 110, whatever you want to call them. You'll see that these have ground, your neutral terminals, your gold is your black, your live wire. Each one. You've got a switch plate, cover plate, and of course, if you're working on a 15 amp circuit, which we are, well, that's what we're going to be using in this video for the purpose of the video. We're going to be working on 15 amp. And this here is 14 2 wire, which carries 15 amps, or is good for that. And you're going to have a black, a white, and a ground, or it will be green. Ground and green, same wire. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to insert two of these in the box. Now these are used to secure the wire in place. It's got a little nut here, you spin it off. Slide it through the hole, make sure you knock out the right knockout for it. Put your nut on the inside and spin it back around the best you can to get it secure. Now we're not gonna tighten this up for the purpose of this video, but we're gonna show you how we got it installed. Now you'd always want this to where you can get your screwdriver over here to secure this to keep your wires in place. You see how as you pull the screws in, it secures the wire tight here so that it will not come loose in the plug itself or receptacle whenever you're wiring it up. So two of those, I only have one, but you'll understand. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is to get your wire. Like I said, this is 14-2 white Romex wire. And you'll want to get you some strippers. And of course you're going to come over here and you're going to strip this back far enough to make you a hook on it. And in some cases you may try it once and it's not long enough to make the hook. But if you look at the back of some of these receptacles, you're going to see they've got little slots right here. Now these are called cheaters. And I'm going to put one in the back of one of these just to show you how it works. I personally do not like to use them, use these little cheater holes unless I actually have to. I like to tie them directly on the screws themselves. It gives it a more secure fit and it just seems way better to me. I've seen a couple of houses that I worked on that these were used and no problem and then you go look at these here and they actually don't make a good connection they may short out. So we're just going to stick one in here and I'm going to show you how it works. We're just going to use the copper wire just for the video and you stick it in there and you pull it and it won't come out. I call that cheater wire but I don't like it. Now you can get in here if you want to release it and there's a little slot right there you mash in and that wire will come out. So I'll get it out later right now I'm just going to cut it off. Now of course you're not going to have the luxury of having this wire out there where it's easier to work with. It's going to actually be coming through the box and it's going to be inside here and I'll show you how that's done here in the next couple steps. So what you're going to have to do is let me go back and clip these off because I had to cut them shorter. Remember, I cut the piece off on the back of the plug. We're going to strip that off of there. Back here, we're going to strip that off of there. Now then, what you want to do is you want to make you a little hook, kind of like so. 
just like that. Now these may be a little short. <clears throat> I may have not skimmed enough wire off of there. And let me show you what we're trying to accomplish. Now, the gold is always going to be your black. You'll back it out, back the screw up far enough to get it on there. And you'll run that down in there just like so. And then you're going to keep tugging on that wire a little bit and you're going to tighten that down just like that. See, that was a perfect cut, a perfect fit. The insulation is just riding right outside that nut. So that lessens the chance of if one of these other wires were to touch it, if you had it skinned, skinned back all the way here, if it touched it, it was short, possibly because of fire. Uh, let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we had a wire coming in here. Maybe it's another, another wire, and it, this was skinned back, and it touched it short, created an arc you're possibly going to start a fire or it's going to trip your breaker and you're not going to have any power on that circuit so having this skin back just enough to make sure that it goes around there is the perfect environment perfect, perfect situation you also want to make sure that you put the hook we'll go to this side and I'm going to show you we're going to spin this back around because we want the hook going the opposite direction Okay. See how I bent that hook back around? I want it to go wrap around the hook that way because around around the screw that way. Because what happens is whenever you tighten it up, you're pulling into that wire and it's not pulling the wire off. If I was turning it counterclockwise, it would want to be trying to loosen the the wire on the actual screw itself. So you want to keep a little tug tugness on that and tighten that down. Okay. If you noticed, I put the gold, the black wire of the gold, which is the way it should be, and I used this part of the plug on this side as well. I put the white on the silver. So it's white on silver, black on gold. Now that's a normal, correct wire. Now this here would be your ground wire. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to spin it around like so, and we're going to put that right there on the ground just like that. And we're going to take us some pliers and we're going to push that back around there just a little bit more. And then we're going to cinch that thing right back up to you. All right. Make sure it's tight. Now then, we're going to run this one through. That's what happens when you try to get in a hurry and shoot one of these videos. I know y'all get bored very easily. So there you go, voila. Now that is hooking up one receptacle. Now of course you'd screw it back down. There's some screws right here that would screw into this part of that part of the box. And then it would be in place set just like, kind of like so there. Okay. Now then, this next part of the video is going to be tying these two receptacles together. And then the wiring is going to be coming out on this side through the nut that would be over here that I don't have. So let's make that happen. Okay, we're at the point in the video where I want to show you a little tip that I also learned Many years ago, if you look at the back of these, these receptacles or plugs, whatever you like to call them, there's what they call a wire strip gauge, and it's a piece that goes from here to here, and it's hard to read it, and you may not be able to see it in the video, but it, it says here, strip gauge or wire strip right here, and what they're referencing is this area from here to here is the area that needs to be cut off, cleaned up, the insulation needs to be removed. So there is an indicator or a gauge shows you how much wire you need to take off of that in order to make you the perfect hook to go around these screws. So, just a tip guys, right there is your wire strip gauge. Cut it, make sure that it's just like you see there. Okay, so now we're at the point, and I've pre-wired a little bit of this to kind of speed the, the filming of the video up so you wouldn't have to be so bored. But let's think that, or let's assume that we're gonna be bringing the voltage in from this one and it's gonna be coming out of here and traveling out of the top of the box on this, this, uh, this corner here to the left-hand side. So. We've got our wires coming in, Reco recap, black on gold, white on silver, and green on copper, green, should be copper, green is ground. So we got that. Now this is the plug that's going to be, we're going to be coming from this plug going into this one. Now we got the same thing. We're going to put it, this is the top terminal over here on this one. This is the top terminal on this one. So it's, it's going to be coming in this one, it's going to be going out this one. 
that's going to be going up this wire here going out to the next plug or the next set of receptacles in the wall. So we've already wired this one as well. Black on gold, white on neutral, which is silver, and this is gold. Bare wire or green goes there. So our next thing that we're going to try to accomplish is I've made a little jumper wire that goes from this green one right out here and we're going to tie that to this green one here. So I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to have it done in a minute and I'm going to come back. But we're going to tie the ground together so you've got a complete ground running from the breaker box through the receptacle, jumper to this receptacle, going up to the next receptacle and so forth. So you've got a continual ground there that grounds that circuit. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a white wire and we're going to go from here on the same side that you already have the white wire. We're going to jump her from here to here. Okay. So that is going to bring that voltage back into this plug and then it's going to transfer on up out back to the top. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to tie the jumper wire from here. And we're going to jump it over to this plug, this receptacle here. And that's going to complete the circuit. And it's going to go out the top over here back to the next receptacle in the wall. So I hope I didn't uh, mess up your mind on that one. Let me get it wired and I'll show you exactly. Okay, so now I've got it all wired up. I didn't want to bore you with that part of the movie. Okay, we got the power coming in. Black's on that side. White is on that side. You get a screwdriver. Then you see here, we got the black over here going down to the bottom plug. White over here. As you see it's coming in, the top part of the plug, it's going out the bottom part of the plug. The white is jumpered over to this side on the bottom, and then it carries out to the white, which goes to the next receptacle in the wall. The same thing with the black. The black is carried over from the bottom of this plug or receptacle over to this one here. Then it goes back up to the top here. It feeds that plug as well, carries it out, continues to the next receptacle, basic forward slash plug. The ground, you have several options here. You can pigtail off of here, come out, tie your wire nut together, jumper it back this way, or you can do what I have here. If you have the room on that green screw to get the two wires in each one of those without taking away any integrity of that screw holding the ground in place, you can do as I've done here. Now this is the proper way to wire up two 110 plugs in a 15 amp circuit in your home or any place that uses something similar that's going to be running 14 2 wire. Now let's flip it over and take a look at it. Now of course this will be sticking out of the box here just like so. Let's get it in here. Now this is not going to be easy because we would be wiring this as it in the home because this box would already be pre-installed and then you'll have these four screws. Alright now I've got my screws hand started here. I've got both receptacles in the metal box. And you want to make sure that you have plenty of clearance in the back and none of the wires. So you want to press this down. And as you're putting them in, also look, even if you got to have a flashlight, make sure you don't have any wires pinched, cut, or touching each other. That is very critical to uh, alleviate any possibility of shocks or any fires in the near future. Uh, if for some reason you go ahead and you turn the breaker on after you've got this installed and it flips the breaker, that means you've got a wire shorting out somewhere or something touching something that should not be touching it. So, uh, that's a telltale on that. Now I've got my drill here and we're of course I've got a rigid drill and this thing is probably closer to eight years old something like that. So we'll snug these screws down. Not tight because we're going to have to put the actual um, cover plate on. And sometimes you have to screw, screw that, uh, slide that box over, or slide the plate over on the box in order for it to fit properly. So let's uh, go ahead and check that. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just put them to where they're centered in this little slot right there where the screw covers up most of the hole. Back this one out a little bit. And you may have to kind of convince them a little bit because we've got that ground wire and it's pretty rigid. Same thing with this one. We'll, kind of, we'll try to center it over the hole. See how this one's off to the side? We'll want to do the same thing. We'll convince it to sit in the middle and then we'll tighten it back down. This one is actually pretty good so we'll just snug it up to make sure. I have seen some electricians actually leave those screws just a tad bit loose and what happens is whenever they're putting the cover plate back in place like this 
they will actually move them a little bit in a cover place. They'll expect that cover plate to actually hold that switch in place. Now you don't want to leave it real loose because uh, the possibility of causing some problems. And then your cover plate goes on there like so. Don't over tighten your little screw because it will break your cover plate. Now I don't have the other screw, but see right there, that is a finished double receptacle hookup. Now of course, over here you'd have the same wiring coming out. Your black would be going at your live and your white is your neutral and your copper or your green is your ground and so forth. Hey guys, uh, man, I hope you got some information out of this video. Uh, I think it was pretty cool to film it. Uh, I am not a electrician by trade, however, I have wired up a couple of my homes in, uh, that I've built in the past uh, five to six years and I've had no problems whatsoever. But respect electricity, anytime you're working with it, it's always a must do. Turn off the power for starting. If you like the video, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Get this video, share it with other friends, other people. We're just a small mom and pop channel. And every minute you watch this video, every comment you leave helps us tremendously. Uh, we hardly ever get any comments from folks. And man, guys, uh, we'd really like a few comments. Help this old veteran out and uh, post your questions, comments, suggestions, everything down below in the section there. And if it's something that we can respond to, we'll be glad to try to help you answer, answer that question as soon as possible. But again, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hopefully we'll see you in our next video.